policy number? Uh, my name is Brian Bessie. The policy number is 901-5023. Alright, date of birth? Um, February 17th, 1940. And who's that for? Um, my mother. What's her name? Judy Bessie. Thank you. And you're Brian, you said? Correct. Um, okay, Brian. Will you verify her address and phone number for me? It's 16273 State Road. 148, that's Aurora, Indiana, 47001. And what about a phone number? 513-356-9971. Thank you. And what can I do for you? <clears throat> um, I got online the other day to ask if you wish to switch to payments. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me. So everything's in my name, the, the policy, and, well, not my name, but for as far as irrevocable. So it... My wife is, was about to get laid off here next month, so I tried to switch it to a payment every six months, um, and it says it will take a day or two, and then it didn't show it. I pushed the button to, to, to select every six month payment because I figured I could pay it in advance, and by then we could, you know, she'd be back to work and things would be fine. Um, I got online. And it shows, it says that the policy has been canceled and it has some weird dates. Yeah, so it looks like when you were clicking around on, let's see here. So on 11-15, it shows the policy owner called in to cancel. Yeah, no one called in to cancel. And if they did, they did it illegally. Um, everything was is supposed to come through my email, my phone number, or my mail. My mom is in a hospital with real bad dementia. If you if you can see the records of what I've been dealing with, the check's been it's been coming out of my account, my business account. So the policy holder couldn't have called and cancel it because she's in a nursing home with dementia and as me being the irrevocable <clears throat> excuse me beneficiary i'm the only other one that can do anything with the account so two things one they pulled the check because it can't be canceled please um so the, just so you know even if you're irrevocable the policy owner still has all access to the policy but you're right they would have to have a written consent from you to sign off on it mm -hmm. Right, so um, so two things. One, it shows, so I think it could have even been when you might have been just clicking around in there, too. No, I'm not. I'm not sure. It doesn't say, because it doesn't, it does say that it was a call. Yeah, uh, I never. It wasn't canceled because, just give me a second, um, it, I'm going to have to figure out what to do here because it shows that it was canceled, but then the letter, the check would have been pulled because the address changed. Okay. So I'm going to see. The check comes directly out of my, the, there is no check. The, I paid her, I've been paying her interest. If you look the past two interest payments, I've been paying that. And the income, and the policy comes out of my check every month. Well, no, no, I wasn't meaning the check that you sent. I was meaning as in uh, the check that the cancellation check. Oh, I don't that know. That was pulled. We wouldn't be able to cancel it, of course, on the fact that, she, of course, had you changed the address within 30 days anyway, so I don't know why it wasn't. I'm going to go in here and see if it was going to be put back and forth, okay? Sure. Let me call support, and I'll get back with you. Okay, and might I say something else before you put me on hold? Sure. All right, my sister, Laura, my mother was in a place called Care Springs. My sister, I even requested the all the documents and everything. I'm in the process of suing them in court. They're, they forged her name, and they've been trying to do everything to, um, I don't know why, but to, to, like, hurt my mom. That's why when my mother lived with me over a year ago, we took care of all this so no, no one could do anything about it. And that's why my sister come in town and took, my mom's in the hospital with real bad dementia. She couldn't think to save her life right now. <clears throat> if um, that's why we did what we did because she was at like at stage four dementia when we 
did this. And she came to live with us. Well, my sister Paula and Laura, when she was in a place called Care Springs, got a loan on the check and forged it. And because they ran it through my mom's bank account, it never um, rose a red flag that it was a forgery because they had access to my mom's account. I actually got the bank papers and everything with the fraud on my sister's, with my sister's name on the account. And I'm in a process of trying to either have them put in jail or have them pay the money back that they took the loan. Right. In the first place. Yeah, it sounds like it's been a mess. Well, sure. yeah, it is. I got the, I mean, I can email the bank statements and everything that there's fraud and everything on the account. Uh, it was between, at U.S. Bank. They actually returned some of my mom's money, but you guys couldn't do anything because it ran through my mom's check. That was the explanation I got. If, if you look at the I history, don't deal with that. But right? Well, to power of attorney. Please. I see all this. Okay, let me put you on hold though, because I want to make sure that check's pulled before it's canceled. You know okay. what I mean? Thank you. Okay, one moment. Thank you for calling Mutual of Omaha. Did you know that you can access your account 24-7 and it's simple to sign up? To enroll in customer access, go to www.mutualofomaha.com and look for the sign-in link. To continue for service or claims, please listen to the following options. If you are... Hello? Hi, sir. This is Valerie with Mutual of Omaha. Oh, I was just calling back. Sorry about that. I wasn't sure if you hung up or not. Just well, give me a no, second here, okay? I, yeah, sure.
Um, I'm going to open a request. We're going to put it back and forth since the check's already been pulled. Okay. But I still don't know who would have called in on her behalf. Well, it would have yeah. been one of my sisters. They're nuts. Um, I have documentation that shows things if they try to do this again. That's another reason I tried to, um, or I don't know if I can change it. Maybe you can help me. Can I pay a payment in advance or whatever so every six months or? Yeah, you can do that, but we just need the POA to be approved first for okay. you to be able to make changes. Right. So that just takes some time. But I'm going to tell you what you can do, mm -hmm. what you should do. So once your POA is approved, you should put a password on it. We okay. can't do anything until we get that, but that password would have been, they would have to. So one, I made sure the irrevocable was on there up, up front. Okay. But, um... Two, that password will allow it. We, even if they called in acting like the P, your mom, mm -hmm. we would have to have that password in order to How long to does that to take release to any information? Well, if they called in, it shows that someone actually called in. Yeah, as far as I know. <laughs> let me go look. Let me make this note to put it back and forth. Give me a second. Thank you so much. Yes, of course. Crazy. And you sent in the POA papers, right? Please. What's that? You sent in the power of attorney papers, correct? Uh, I don't know what we sent in. This was over a year ago. No, something was just sent in recently. No, I never sent. My sister went to the, went, one of my sisters went and got um something. The power of attorney, I don't know when that was. I ha I've been going through so much. Here's the thing. My um, s sister was using my mom's money out of her bank account as well. Well, when they took her Social Security and took everything. So I took my mom to the bank a couple months ago trying to get copies of the bank statements. And she put a stop that she's trying to keep it from anybody find out what she's doing and what she did. But there's like three warrants on her over in uh, Amelia, Ohio, at my mom's old address at 57 Olive Branch Drive. Because she was robbing people. She's a drug user. That's why, again, I made it to where I'm near a revocable. What's your sister's name? Uh, one's Paul and one's Laura. Who's Judy? That's my mother. She's the owner. She's the one. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Who, so let me see. One of these, somebody sent in a power of attorney with cancellation papers. The cancellation papers? Yep, that's what it is. So. That's, that's possibly Paula because she don't want anybody. Oh, what? yeah, that's, I think it is. That's who it is, Paula. So this is where you're going to run into problems. So you're still going to have to sign off to cancel because you have irrevocable. So what do you mean? Uh, I'm not signing either. off to cancel that. No, no, no. I'm just saying. So that's going to be the only thing that's going to save it, though, is because you're irrevocable. Correct. That's that why we did it this here. way. I I actually paid a lawyer to find out the laws, and the actually in Indiana state law because I found out every state's different when it comes to laws for uh, insurance. To prevent people from doing that. What a sick human being. Yeah, so that's going to be the only thing that's really good. Because she did send in legal documentation as a guardian. Correct. But still with it being said, there's an irrevocable Vinny on there. So, mm -hmm. therefore, with that, like I said, being said, they, they can't really cancel it without your signature. Right. Unless they were to forge it or something. Right, yeah, well, th that's just it. If How do I set up this passcode? Because this is actually, I'm the one actually paying this. It's coming out of my bus business account. I took care of my mom for every year and a half, and they've been nothing but trouble. So the only way you can set that password mm -hmm. um, is, um, sorry, I was just reading this documentation, is getting the PO on the phone. 
and doing it with her permission, or if you have legal documentation as power of attorney. What's PO? POA is power of attorney. Oh, you're, I'm sorry, the policy owner. So my mom. Yes, correct. Even though she has dementia. I mean, she's not so bad that she can't talk or anything, but she's like stage five dementia. But I'd yeah, still so need her still for, have have, this for is a passcode. Someone else just sent in that power of attorney right. because it gives them. So with that being said, in that case, what that power of attorney is saying is saying, "Hey, that person's not able to make decisions on her behalf. <laughs> now I'm able to. So this is what you're going to run into." Okay, but they still can't cancel, and I can still keep paying, and the policy's still good. Yeah, correct. It, the the thing is, though, is that they don't stop billing. Mm hmm. So that's where you're going to run into right now, because right now a place has been stopped on the billing since someone sent power of attorney papers in. What do you mean place been stopped on a billing? So that's what happens. They put a, they place a stop on there until that's approved, because then they can, they're can they trying to cancel it. Right. They put in a note to resume it. Right. Uh, yeah, but according to the attorney I talked to in the laws, that the only way it can be done is if I signed off on it. Even if a judge said so, I'd still have to sign off of it, which I'm never going to do that. Yeah. See, I'm the only one that has anything to lose, me and my mother. I'm making yeah, the I'm, here, I'm making the payments and it's my mom's health and life that's you know what I mean? That she's made. Right. So yeah, even and I don't see any other beneficiary changes, so There can't be I mean, any. There no hasn't been any anyone. I'm sorry. Well, you would have to sign off. So I just made a note on the power of attorney paper because, of course, it's saying if approved, send check to, and I put on there that there's an irrevocable beneficiary. So just in case they didn't see it, yeah. they know now. Well, they know because I went to court. Um, I'm still dealing with court, but on like several issues, and that's the reason I was gonna. Another reason I was gonna put it in to where I can mail the payment in. Because when I try to print things online at the bestie.b at Outlook where my emails come for and I get it for my reminders of the payment, um, it's sometimes it don't even print what you want it to print. And the oh, I gotcha. And the paper documents is very specific. Like I'm looking at the irrevocable paper right now. I got copies. I did man. I got copies of like my canceled checks. Um, from the bank and everything. So you're assuring me that it's not canceled and it's still going to be, I mean, I can still make no, the payments. No, so I can't resume, I can't guarantee the billing is going to stay the same because, I again, it's going to have to go through the legal department. So right now there's going to still be a stop on the payment hmm. until they can get that all figured out. I did put in the note that you wanted to resume billing on automatic bill pay. Okay. Um, once it gets corrected, so... Yeah, like I said, I don't know where there would be a problem because the attorney I talked to said that there was nothing that anybody could do about it. So the guardian can do anything except change the beneficiary. They can stop billing. Okay, so how do I... And then no one... So if they talk to my mother and she yeah. can have that changed or what? No, so the the payments really can be stopped at any time, so that means that they can say, no, I don't want it to come out of his account. Okay. If they have legal guardianship and they sent in the correct paperwork and they're approved, then we can stop the billing. They can't cancel the policy without your signature. And they, so what it really means is they can just stop paying on it. Mm -hmm. And then they will, what will happen is it will reduce down from the full face amount to whatever, once that cash value is eaten away, which I wouldn't know for sure because right now it's not showing active. Well, there was only a 346 loan value on the thing because my sister stole uh, seven or 15, 1600 and there's an outstanding loan for 1700 or $1,900. It's nineteen thirty seven thirty seven. Right. Yeah, so I would um, get your mom to put a password on there. Okay. So I can go visit and her then, today and have her call in? Yep, she can get permission to speak with you. Is there a possibility to even speak with you since I talked to you, or it could be any person? Anyone can help you, just because if, even if I give you my extension, they're like, you know, we're on the phones all day. Correct. So you probably wouldn't even be able to get me, to be honest. 
Okay, so someone sent something in, and you're saying all I would have to do is get my mom on the line. Yep, correct. To make a password. Okay. Change the billing. They can change though again and again. So what's the password do? The password is well. They can't change anything without the password, I guess. Oh. Unless they send in written documentation saying to remove it. <laughs> I mean, it just seems like it's going to be a whole mess for you guys. So, uh, one thing for sure, that, I mean, there shouldn't be any way to cancel the policy without that signature of you. Right. But, the, yeah, so they, I guess, because they've called a couple months ago. I called in and someone tried to make changes a couple months ago as well. Yeah, I'm not sure, to be honest. I don't see. Let's see here. Oh, the billing, you mean? Correct. There's been a lot of requests, so let's see. Yeah, my sister was upset. Well, I have an ally with my aunt. And my sister, she don't even have a place. She's living with one of my cousin's ex-wives. And um, so anyway, my aunt tells me everything that they say or try to do because she sees how rotten she is. Uh, there's been, like you said, a couple of, you know, there's been definitely a couple different things. Well, the thing I did was try to make it to where I could pay it every six months and have a paper trail. The only reason this is going to, like I said, so what happened is you did all those mode changes yesterday, right? It wasn't the yesterday. The same day we got legal, or the 15th, I'm sorry, the 15th, the same day you sent in those changes, we mm -hmm. got power of returning papers from your sister. To cancel the payment. Yeah, to cancel the policy. Yeah, who would do that? You know, I mean, what kind of person cancels a policy? Yeah, so that's what, well, because a lot of people will cancel them for, like, Medicaid and stuff. So even with you're telling me this stuff, right, so with the proper documentation, we can't do hearsay. All right. But, however, there is still an irrevocable beneficiary on the policy. So right. none of that can be done, period, unless, like I said, you sign off or there's a forged signature, which, and that would be something you would have to do for... Right, well, the, the mail would have to come to me anyway, so no one's going to forge it from my address because it has my phone number, my address, and everything else. Uh, so what's your address? I live at 16273 State Road 148. That's where my mom oh. lived for the, uh, for almost a year and two months. So the power of attorney will be able to change the address? Hmm. But uh, the the worst case scenario is my mom has no life insurance, even though I'm a green. Yeah, you're right. It's a bad situation. No, I agree with you 100. percent I mean, especially because it's not even a large policy. So right, there's only know, four thousand. Being... There's only four thousand, and I'm paying. Not only am I paying the twenty six dollars and sixty cents or twenty five sixty each month, I'm also paying. I I the the the. Interest was one forty three something. I wrote the check for one forty eight out of my business account, and it's been coming out of my business account. Yeah, no, I, I like I said, I'm, I'm agreeing with you, but that's what I think. You just have to. So you should be able to go online. The rush can take seven, or I'm sorry, uh, twenty four to forty eight hours, and it should be put back and forth. What does that mean? So that means it's going to show it's still active. You know how right now it shows canceled? So they won't get a bill or anything. They might just not. Because she didn't even put a change address or anything. She All she has done is trying to make my life miserable because I took, cause I took care of my mom for every year. Um, They've been in Florida for 12 years. I know this has nothing to do with you. I'm just saying it's. My mom lived with us for over a year, and she was getting pretty bad. I took her to the hospital, and then she was put into the nursing home because me and my wife was losing like $15,000 of her income in just one year. Right. And we're still taking care of her cat and trying to make sure she has burial. She, uh, they keep wanting 
talking about uh, cremating my mom. She don't believe in that. So it and yeah. and I'm not. I don't have the money to just hire lawyers. We live in a little hick town in Indiana where you can't even do paperwork. You have to get online, and they sort of force you to hire a lawyer. And I don't have that kind of money. Um, right, so it should go back on. No. I can, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Um, what I was going to say, too, is because on the power of attorney papers, it says if approved, please send check to address that is listed on power of attorney papers. So they are trying to, if canceled, send the check somewhere else other than your address. But again, they can't cancel it without a signature. So. But they can change the address. They can. Yeah, they could definitely change the address. Or can I make it like if you record everything and I can make it abundantly clear that I'm I'm um, was planning to keep on playing it, paying the pre out of my account, and never in a million years would I sign it. 